See, there are uh, different types of drill. The basic one is hand drill, very oftenly what we are using everywhere, in what is that, especially in India. So, especially for tonic subdural hematoma, where you wanted to evacuate immediately, you have to use a drill. Those times we used to drill the outer cortex for uh, putting these clamps. Now that is all thing over, now self-tapping system which has come, that is all vanishing. So hand drill is uh, very rarely we are using it. The other two is uh, pneumatic and electrical drill. That is all uh, high speed drills. So there is no typical definition <coughs> for what is the high speed drill or what is the limitation for that. So whether there are so many studies which are there, what is uh, high speed drill and why it is called uh, low speed drill. See, when you are drilling the thing, there is a generation of heat that is transported into the bone. So when it is transported into the bone, so because of heat, there is a necrosis of the bone. When you are drilling, there may be micro fracture of the, at the drilling site. So over a period, when the heat, when it is there, there may be immediate necrosis. I will show you the, uh, what are the experiments uh, they have done. It is actually, it is not the work of a medical person, it is all engineering studies. You don't get a referral very uh, oftenly in the medical literature. So these uh, high speed drills, uh, usually in the dental, they use uh, 3600 to 7500 RMP, rotation per minute. Orthopedics 60 to 800, because they put only uh, holes. They are not uh, clearing the body of the spine and all. Later on, I will come to for that also. Then neurosurgery, ours is the one we use high speed drill, but we don't bother about the bone. We are drilling it and we are removing it. Whereas when you go for the spine, that is very, very important. Where when you are putting the screw here, it has to hold. So if you use the drill there, what will happen there? Hmm? This uh, drilling is not the uh, today's one. Since ancient, uh, see, when you go to literature, especially Egyptian literature, when they have studied the skull, there is large uh, jungle holes in the uh, skull. So, especially that is uh, Egyptian uh, thing. The literature wise, still it is there is the Egyptian. Then Greek, Romans, when they have studied the skull, they have found these uh, openings. Then uh, from uh, 19th and 20th century only that has become modernized. The so bone still starting in 1850 for fracture, long bones, especially orthopedic people they were using. Then we have applied to cranial part also. So when you are drilling, so how long you can drill and how much energy will be liberated. See there, see if a continuous drill without any water irrigation, it will create 82 degrees of centigrade uh, temperature. See, 82 degrees is not a simple one. So it will cause necrosis, immediate necrosis of the bone. When you irrigate with the ringer lactate, it will comes down to 42 degrees. When you further reduce cold water, when you use, it will come to 22. Okay, this is the one that is experimentally which is studied by engineering students. Then when you start doing with the intermittent drilling, see, you give some time not a continuous one. When you do intermittent drilling, so the temperature without irrigation, it will create 66 degrees centigrade. Then with the saline, it will come drop down to 35. Then with the cold saline, it will come to 21 degrees. See, when you drill, how the temperature will be dissipated. So by way of conduction, by way of convection or by radiation. So when electric energy, when it is going, it will cause electromagnetic field that will pass onto the bone. See, this is the way this, they have shown how internal irrigation and external irrigation. Internal irrigation means there is a, inside only there is a halo. So through that water will be passing through at the site of irrigation. External irrigation means what we are doing in routine practice, it is all external irrigation. This is what are the types of uh, drill bits if you use, how it causes uh, damage to the bone. This is the one, higher the speed, this speed versus uh, time. Why we are all interested in high speed drilling? When you use high speed drilling, the time becomes less. So the temperature created during that time is less. That means uh, the bone contact with the temperature will be less. That is why always high speed, high speed. Say when you go with a low speed, you are in touch with the bone for a long period. So that tissue will be exposed to the temperature for a long period. There the chances of necrosis are more or damage to the cell 
apoptosis can cause or sometimes there will be a micro fracture when you put the screw into that okay it may get loosened over a period or it may pull out because of this necrosis of the bone this is the one uh, they have studied depending upon that they have given a very good uh, curve temperature versus time see that more than 70 degrees is absolute that is contraindication which causes uh, death of the cell so when you go at the 45 or a 50 there will be no damage to the soft tissue even neuronal tissue also they have studied at 45 degrees damage to the neuron will be very very negligible this is the one what i have told this one so when we drill the things see we put a water the water acts like a lubricant whereas in a machine and all these things they will put a oil to reduce the temperature so here also when we are drilling it the dust which is formed it clogs around the drill bit through that also temperature can pass into the normal tissue so always irrigate so heavily you have to irrigate don't allow any dust to accumulate there so accumulation which causes damage to the normal tissue so they have studied in this uh, graph you see nicely see when they are putting water see this is the water 0.5 that is in uh, liters that is the temperature see when you put a more water see per minute so much of water you have to put into the uh, drilling site so there the temperature will be maintained at 40 degrees only when you are drilling the transpedicular why the failure rate and all these things maybe because of this we don't know so when you put a less water and the temperature it rises see the relation okay see the when the irrigation site if your water level is more then temperature transmission is very very less when the water irrigation site is less see how temperature rises and we don't know what we say uh, nothing is we are not done properly and all where we are done is the drilling problem so the temperature created there is more than 70 degrees centigrade that too it is not the fahrenheit or anything especially vasospasm when you are drilling around the nerve or a artery so you should take care of very very care when you are drilling it so even i was not knowing it when he has given a subject i was studying this engineering yeah, books so this is the one what is the relation when we are doing it what is the use of water say our resident may sleep off when i am drilling it if you see whole blockish things we may see then when you say poor poor water means what by the time we have caused the injury when you are perforating a bone when you are drilling the bone both are different perforating a hole you are making it there the contact with the tissue yeah, is more use. this is studied by a engineering students <laughs> in operation theater yeah, and experiments yeah, yeah, yeah. Even, yeah. even how they have studied also this is the one see how the things which yeah, is transmitted yeah. it is not a visual uh, appreciation yeah. see how yeah, they, they have computed yeah. see not how they have yeah. monitored the thing okay this is the one why our uh, instruments say one is hand control drill another one is foot control drill very often we have a foot control drill rather than a, some period they were supplying with a hand control that is also is good very high speed 70,000 RMP so once you touch it it will uh, take out the tissue I think uh, this is the one inch uh, motor and that is the tip is the drill bits there are different types of bits which are available again they have studied in each bit what is the generation of heat and monitor and usually why when it's a soft tissue when it is comes why we have to use diamond drill why not uh, cutting uh, drill bits again the tissue around that uh, damages they have studied that is the one uh, temperature when you use this one regularly diamond drill and also cutting drill the temperature released from that it is little less that is around 45 degrees and all that eye and foot uh, what is the coordination all three has to be there eye hand and foot this is only hand control you are seeing it and you can control that but now they are not manufacturing uh, what is that hand control before it was coming so when you are coagulating also when we are doing endoscopy eye hand and foot one person has to do all the three things uh, this is your drilling with the hand also you should be very good in coordination also and foot to control also all the three you should concentrate over what you are doing it now you are doing like this one more if you have a, this is the clip they have control list so the area of occupation is more and visibility at the end will be less see the motor is size is big as you go down it is tapering and at the tip level so here the size will be more so here it is very straight forward and foot control and uh, you may not be 
holding wall with your hand only like a pencil you will be holding